All right, welcome back. Hello, everybody. So we left off at our new node, and now I promised you last time that we would change some of the properties of the node. And that's what we are going to do today. So in order to change some of the values, we have to create a new object. So I hope you know a little bit what, new op what objects are, because I won't get too much into depth about it. Um, so the way to set one is just by saying node, node equals to new node. So that's just if it's just how we create one. And so note that one in the middle is just the name. So we can give it any name. We can also call it merry-go-round. I don't know, whatever you want it to call, I'll just call it note and set it all lowercase. So now that we have our new note, uh, we can set some of the values. So just to change some of the values, all we have to do is just say note dot, and then we can set it. For instance, we can set the pitch to something different. So if we set the pitch to a number, like 55, we should get a different pitch than before. So that's just how you do it. it is, I don't, like I said, I won't get too much into depth. Uh, and now to play that note we created up there, uh, we don't want to say anymore play MIDI new note, we want to play the note which we created up there. So if we play that, we should hear a new note Yeah, yeah, so we heard a different note than before. And so if we change it to 68, 69, for instance, and just play it. So that one's a little higher. So as you can see, if we just set it to something lower, the note's going to be lower. And if we set it higher, the note is going to be higher. So that's how we basically change the note. Uh, if you want to make sure that you have a, diff a certain pitch you want to use, so for instance, if you have the A or an, an A flat, I don't know, C, D flat, D sharp, I don't know, uh, we can use those constants from a class. So there's a different class in the JM package called the JMC. So let's see what the JMC class does. So if we just import that, so import JM.JMC, which is going to go ahead into our set pitch method. So note.set pitch, and instead of setting it to a number, we can say JMC. Then think of a note. So for instance, I want to have it to a G sharp. We can say dot G sharp. And then you can see the different uh, the different numbers. So that's the octave. So G sharp and the, the lowest octave, and then to the highest octave. So we want to set it to the fourth octave, which should be somewhere around the middle. If we play that, we get a G sharp. So yeah, that's how you play a certain note, if you want to make sure that it is one. And for instance, if we want to change the volume of the note, we can say note dot uh, set dynamic. And this one is taking an integer as well, but of course we don't know what all those integers mean. So we can go into that JMC class again and say we want to have a pianissimo note. So that's going to be pretty fairly, fairly silent. So we can say JMC.PP, which stands for pianissimo. Yeah, so if you might have heard that note was a little 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 not so loud yeah that made sense uh, okay going back so no now we changed the dynamic we changed the pitch well we can also change the duration the length of the note so there are two ways to do it so the first way to do it is just by saying node.set length and then the number we put in there is basically just the seconds the amount of seconds we want to uh, let it be so for instance if you want to set it to three seconds we say three and then we can run that program again one two three it stops after three seconds and the second way how you can change the duration of the length uh the duration of the length 
the duration of the node is by saying node dot set duration uh, and instead of setting it to a different uh, you know the, to the amount of seconds you can set it to for instance uh, quarter nodes half nodes full nodes all that so instead of taking the number and saying yeah that's going to be the seconds it just says okay we have one beat so i think one is going to be the quarter note and if, if we want to set it to a sixteenth we can set it one divided by sixteen or if we want to make sure that it is actually the right length we could just can say jmc dot uh, and then as a duration let's say eighth note so we can say eighth note and so it's going to be an eighth note long again. Yeah, so that's how you change some of the properties. So that's basically a little introduction on how to uh, manipulate the note, set different values to it. I uh, hope it was helpful and just go ahead, experiment with it a little bit. Let's see what you can do with it. So thanks for watching. Hope to see you soon again. But thank you for. Bye.